A very good morning, class 12th. The agenda for today's class is we will be talking about the acidic character of carboxylic acids. Now, this is a part of your chapter aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acid. That is your unit number 12, volume 2 NCRT. And you are watching the channel by Seema Makijani. Hope you are enjoying the classes and would do very well in life. Please keep subscribing, please keep liking and sharing it with other students groups. Thanks a ton. Okay now, moving on to the acidic character. So when we use the word acidic character, our agenda is a proton donor. And when we talk about the proton donor, then it is the aim is that this H positive has to be lost. Now if you want to lose this H positive, this goes and attacks the lone pair of oxygen. Hence you have a hydronium ion released and this identity which is left, which is RCOO- minus, is called as carboxylate ion. Now if this reaction goes in the forward direction means carboxylic acid is acidic because it is giving you the hydronium ion. Now how do I prove that this reaction is going in the forward direction? If somehow I can prove that carboxylate ion is highly stable then in that case the work is done. If your products are stable they definitely cause the reaction to move in the forward direction. Moving on to this carboxylate ion. Let us draw the structure for the carboxylate ion. This is how a carboxylate ion looks like and it is stable again due to resonance. So let us draw the resonating structures. This electron pair goes here and this pi bond breaks like this. Hence leading to the resonating structures where R is unaffected, this oxygen gets a negative charge this gets a double bond. So as you can clearly see in these two resonating structures, these two resonating structures are equivalent and equivalent resonating structures cause a high stability. That is the reason if this is acidic due to your higher stability of carboxylate ion. Therefore, we say that despite only two resonating structures, it is highly stable due to this keyword equivalent. Now, what do I mean by this word equivalent? Equivalent means both these structures are similar and you can clearly see in this structure you have a negative on oxygen and a double bond O. In this also you have a negative on oxygen and a double bond O. R is same in both the cases and you have a carbon. So whenever you have equivalent resonating structures, however less in number it is, leads to a higher stability. So we can also say in this reaction, generally organic reactions are under equilibrium, they do not go to completion. So if I write the equilibrium constant for this reaction, the equilibrium constant would be concentration of the carboxylate ion into the concentration of hydronium ion divided by the leftover carboxylic acid which is undissociated. Now this equilibrium constant is also given the name as Ka that is the dissociation constant of the acid as you must have done it in unit 7 class 11th equilibrium chapter. So you have Ka is the word given for your dissociation constant of the acid. Hence, if I want to say that a compound is highly acidic, which means the reaction goes in the forward direction, which means this is much higher than this. So, your acidic character is more when the Ka, the dissociation constant is high. Fine? Moving on to the ways in which you can talk about the acidic character. The acidic character is directly proportional to the loss of H positive or the concentration of H positive ions. Of course, we write H positive as hydronium ion because H positive is always formed in water. You can also say acidic character is more if Ka is more that is the dissociation constant of the acid which is nothing but the equilibrium constant of the reaction which releases hydronium ion. You can also say it is inversely related to pKa. Now this is what I want to explain. pKa is minus log of Ka which means if you have something which is highly acidic if the Ka is high, then the negative value will be more, hence the pKa will be low. So whenever your Ka is high, pKa is low. So acidity 
is high means ka is high and pka is low this should be clearly understood because this is asked many a times your acidic character is asked in terms of pka so if the pka is low you say the acidic character is more talking about acidic character of substituted carboxylic acids for example i have this is the identity which we have in the carboxylic acid and this is the group attached which we would be talking about now in this case our agenda is we want this is going to happen because oxygen is more electronegative hence this is also going to happen because oxygen is more electronegative hence it can easily lead to the loss of a proton which shows the acidic character because this carbon because of this electromeric effect makes it electron deficient hence this pulls the electrons here oxygen becomes more electronegative hence this bond becomes more polar and h positive can be easily lost now what we are going to do now is supposing i have a group here which is your electron donating group now if there is an electron donating group this will give its electrons to the carbon carbon will become electron rich so it can give the electrons to oxygen hence oxygen does not need to pull this electron cloud towards itself so h positive will not be liberated so the presence of an electron donating group reduces ka or reduces acidic character so whenever there is an electron donating group attached to the cooh it causes a decrease in the acidic character similarly if you have another such example where i have a carboxylic acid and the group attached here is a electron withdrawing group means it will pull the electron cloud towards itself if the electron cloud is pulled this carbon becomes electron deficient it pulls the electrons from here this oxygen becomes electron deficient it pulls the electron cloud from here this bond becomes more polar there is a difference larger difference of electronegativity due to the electron pull towards this side hence h positive is easily liberated hence the presence of an electron donating group causes increase in acidity this causes an increase in acidic character or else ka value increases due to the presence of electron withdrawing group and your pka value decreases due to the presence of the electron withdrawing group we will now be using this concept of electron withdrawing group and electron donating group to identify or compare the acidic character for the following pair of compounds let's talk about the first pair of compound as you can see you have a cl attached here the cl has a minus i effect it will pull the electron towards itself this would cause the pull here this would cause the pull here make oxygen more electronegative so h positive is easily liberated now what happens in this case in this case also you have a cl which has a minus effect it will pull but as you very well know inductive effect dies off as you move away in the carbon chain this cl is much more away from the oh so the effect of this cl being farther away from the carbonyl carbon will reduce its effect on the polarity of this particular bond so this is less acidic its ka value would be lower and its pka value would be higher coming on to the next example have a look at the b example in this case i have two carbons here also you have only two carbons so carbon chain is same but what we observe is you have got three fluorines here and fluorine is much more electronegative than chlorine so this pulls the electron towards itself the three fluorines pull the electron cloud towards itself causing carbon to become much more electron deficient causing oxygen to become more electron pulling hence h positive is easily liberated due to the presence of highly electronegative three fluorine atoms with a minus i effect of course here also you have three electron withdrawing groups but the electron withdrawing tendency or the electronegativity of chlorine is less 
so the pull will be less here the pull is more here the pull will be less so this again becomes less acidic this is called as trichloroacetic acid is less acidic the ka for trichloroacetic acid is low or it is asked why is the pka of trichloroacetic acid higher as compared to trifluoroacetic acid there are many ways of asking the question you should understand the concept first coming to the next the next example we have that of formic acid and ethanoic acid or your acetic acid in both these you want this to happen there is an electronegativity difference between oxygen and hydrogen this would happen but the presence of the methyl group which is an electron donating group has a plus i effect which causes this polarization to be less since it is an electron donating group so it decreases acidity so h positive is less liberated hence ka is less and your pka is more for acetic acid as compared to your formic acid coming to the next example you have a butanoic acid there are four carbons so this is your butanoic acid and this is pulled here but you have a chain of carbons which will have a plus i effect donating towards the carbonyl carbon here also you have three carbons while in this case you have got three carbons in this case also you had three carbons but in this case the three carbons are closer because the chain length is less it is branched since the chain length is less this is more effective electron donating group since it is a more effective electron donating group which causes carbon to become electron rich carbon gives electrons to oxygen so the polarity here decreases and h positive release is less in this case so in this case again this particular compound will be less acidic low ka and high pka coming to the next example you have a four nitro benzoic acid and a four methyl benzoic acid as you very well know this has a plus r effect it is a donate donor group while this is a electron withdrawing group it pulls the electrons towards itself causing the electrons to be pulled causing the electrons to be pulled this already is being pulled so this bond becomes more polar if this bond becomes more polar your h positive is easily liberated so your key words will be electron donating group and electron withdrawing group and in this case your oxygen here is more electronegative more electronegative oxygen is to be explained hence this becomes again less acidic so it has a low ka or it has a higher pka as we have already done presence of an electron withdrawing group will always cause acidity to increase here the ka is higher coming to the next two examples that is the one example that is of phenol and that of any carboxylic acid now when we talk about these two if phenol shows acidic character it will form a phenoxide ion and h positive while if carboxylic acid shows an acidic character it will form an h positive and a carboxylate ion as already done the carboxylate ion is highly stable due to two equivalent resonating structures with which i had started my class now let's talk about phenoxide ion this phenoxide ion you can refer back to the acidic character of phenol in my videos of chapter alcohols phenols and ethers but otherwise a phenoxide ion has five resonating structures while a carboxylate ion has only two resonating structures but that is not the criteria to decide the stability of the two 
The criteria is what kind of resonating structures do we have. Talking about the resonating structures of the phenoxide ion. As you can see in these resonating structures, you have a single negative charge, but this negative charge is on carbon as well as on oxygen. And in comparison to carbon, oxygen is a better place for negative charge because oxygen is more electronegative. So, due to the presence of negative charge on carbon, this becomes unstable. Despite five resonating structures, the negative is on carbon leads to unstability of these resonating structures. And when I talk about the carboxylate ion, where you can clearly see it has only two resonating structures where here there were five resonating structures here there are only two resonating structures but these two are equivalent resonating structures which makes them much more stable than your phenoxide ion. So and also in this case there is no negative charge on carbon the negative is only residing on oxygen while in this case negative was also residing on carbon which caused the unstability. So the out of the two that is your phenol and carboxylic acid always carboxylic acid is more acidic the question is framed in an indirect way where the question says despite five resonating structures of phenoxide why is it that carboxylate is more stable or why how do you justify that carboxylic acid is more acidic than phenol now to prove this fact if you are ever asked give a chemical proof the best example would be you take your carboxylic acid and you take your phenol. To both of them you add sodium bicarbonate aqueous solution. On adding this here you would get a sodium salt of carboxylic acid, CO2 the brisk effervescence which would be observable and water. While in this case this is not going to release any carbox any CO2 gas so we say that acidic character is more in case of carboxylic acid than phenol because in this case the H is quickly replaced by Na while in this case this H is not replaceable like it was for carboxylic acid. So this reaction can be used as a chemical test for carboxylic acid where you would say brisk effervescence is observed fine whereas out of the two and it can also be called as a chemical proof for the acidic character of carboxylic acid which is more than that of phenol. With this I conclude the acidic character concept of organic chemistry unit 12. Fine. I hope you are liking the videos. Please keep subscribing, liking and sharing it with the other students if you feel the videos are worth it. Bless you kids. Stay connected, stay well and do awesomely well in life. Bye, take care.